Well, the focus of my research has been primarily on HIV AIDS in Puerto Rico, although uh, I have tried to look at HIV AIDS in a historical perspective in relationship to other epidemics that have taken place on the island throughout its history and in relationship to the, to the Puerto Rican diaspora in the United States. But primarily my research has been ethnographically directed and I have done interviews with um, injecting drug users living on the streets of Puerto Rico, with sex workers uh, on the streets of Puerto Rico, of San Juan mostly, and with community-based activists and AIDS activists in Puerto Rico. So um, some of my work has been historical and cultural around things like the Act Up Puerto Rico organization, which is a, a group that has been pretty understudied in terms of its history and its impact in Puerto Rico and um, HIV service provision, as well as cultural awareness. And, um, and then thinking about the, the things that these marginalized communities share, right? So if we think about um, the way that AIDS research has um, taken place in marginalized communities, uh, HIV prevention or HIV research has tended to, uh, for, for obvious reasons, uh, has tended to sort of silo people into particular categories or particular communities like injecting drug users or, um, you know, men who have sex with men or whatever the other categories are. And my my work in Puerto Rico is an attempt to think about the political and socioeconomic context of the HIV AIDS epidemic such that we can think about um, all of these communities uh, together and what they have in common, right? Um, uh, and, and that is primarily for the reason that Puerto Rico uh, exists in a very particular political economic relationship to the United States. It is an unincorporated territory of the United States. And so um, that has a lot of uh, effects that have a very important that have a lot of import for people living with HIV or at risk for contracting HIV. For example, Puerto Rico does not have uh, is, has not uh, was not extended the um, Obamacare reform. So Puerto Rico does not have Obamacare. It was initially included in Obamacare and then it was rolled back as part of the Republican rollback uh, from my senator, my Republican senator in Michigan, uh, John Upton, who is one of my least favorite people in the world. Um, and uh, more broadly to consider the impact of U.S. colonialism in uh, on public health in Puerto Rico. So um, in that context, AIDS or HIV is only one of many health crises that exist. And we could talk, we could also talk about the mental health uh, issues that are rampant in, uh, uh, as well as addiction and uh, sexual violence and all of these things have to do in some way with HIV um, and affect people's uh, life uh, chances no, uh, or outcomes. But what I wanted was to really produce a political economic critique of the public health system in Puerto Rico, specifically in the ways that it manifested in the HIV AIDS epidemic and the social responses to HIV AIDS in Puerto Rico. And that's because there's such a vibrant and radical um, community of activists that have, uh, I think, been very successful in some ways, uh, but also uh, have had to meet excessively difficult challenges in Puerto Rico with regards to what is possible in terms of AIDS prevention or AIDS organizing.